good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, April the 24th, 2018, and this is episode 2754. My name is Bruce Turner, glad to have you with us for today's episode of Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Friendship. Stay tuned. What a blessing it is to have friends. And might I say, what a blessing it is to be a friend. So in today's episode, I encourage us all to celebrate and embrace friendship. Where would we be without friends? And in the midst of you celebrating and showing gratitude for your friends today, I encourage you to embark on the journey of making new ones. New ones, new friends. Chuck Swindoll says, I cannot even imagine where I would be today were it not for that handful of friends who have given me a heart full of joy. Let's face it, friends make life a lot more fun. Albert Schweitzer said, at times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has cause to think with deep gratitude of those who have lit the flame within us. Augustine said, without friends, no one would choose to live, though he had all other goods. There's a lot of great verses in the Bible about friendship, and I want to share some of those with you today. You know, there's nothing quite as special as a good friend. A good friend is somebody that you can talk to about anything. You know, they'll listen. They'll listen to the whole story rather than just making rash judgments. In the book of Proverbs, Solomon has so much to say about what a true friend is. A true friend is, first of all, loyal. Proverbs 20, verse 6 says, Many will say they are loyal friends, but who can find one who is truly reliable? Proverbs 17, 17 says, A friend is always loyal, and a brother is born to help in time of need. The point here is that your family members are supposed to stick with you. That's kind of like their job, right? But a friend is a person who chooses to be loyal. They just take time to know who you really are. And they don't walk away. Second, a true friend, and this is important, (laughs) is someone who will tell you the truth, even if it hurts. Listen to how Proverbs describes this. Proverbs 27, 6, wounds from a sincere friend are better than many kisses from an enemy. Verse 17 of the same chapter, as iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. And Proverbs 24, 6, an honest answer is like a kiss of friendship. See, a true friend is not somebody who merely flatters you. A true friend is one who is more concerned about your growth than your ego. (laughs) Can I say that again? A true friend is somebody who is more concerned about your growth than your ego. They want to refine you rather than just flatter you. So I want to encourage you today to celebrate the friends that you have. To focus today on being a friend and making new friends. Father, I want to thank you today for all of the friendships that you have blessed me in my life. Lord, as I think about them, names come flooding to my mind and One of the things that I think about when I think about some of these friends is I haven't seen them in a long time. So Lord, show me ways to reach out to friends today. I pray that you would help us to focus, Lord, on being a friend as well. 
to make new friends, to be a blessing, to be an encouragement to somebody else today. And thank you, Jesus, for being the best friend of all. What a friend we have in Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. You can listen to all of the episodes there and comment as well. They're also available on our Facebook group page for Morning Manna. My email address is bruceturner at gmail.com. Thanks for listening today. Thanks for being my friend. Have a great day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.